Damn, I see those mugs anymore. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Ones, economically. Shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Leave it! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can 
tell you is scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. Or not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black bar.
Played at Horse Hand's Den lately. Stop going there after I saw me do. I believe I see a challenger who seeks to subdue Kyle Driver. Seems you're training out for your mug majestic. <laughs> Witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. 
He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her, but your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Some 
fellas out, Master? We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are more. Old villagers pitching. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Take this. Well, that's what I call loyalty to the guild. Thank you, Master. We'll knock one back in your honor. as well. I'll never come back, you stinking scadges! All we want... Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Here to join me? With pleasure. You're gonna make me wait. That's it, you're in for it! Uh -huh, reminds me of a case of war. Heck? Yeah, it was like you never left first. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of the ages. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty later. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, by chance? Triss and I talked. 
cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. The finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like that. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot, I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Huh. <laughs> this the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Get out, pal. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letno. Title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that dumb full name. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Huh. <laughs> Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door.
still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. He did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool trigger as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the imperial legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sorely. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare. Her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? See, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Beware, freak. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain, or just cheap shit. That's enough of that.
covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. to Maria too. You don't look well. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? 
Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. As a war veteran, spare me a crown. Oh, I've had enough of living. Dum -de -dum 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 -dum. Oh, fuck, I'm not in there. Ah. <laughs> you see in the dark, and you're studying. Darn it to heck. Oh, ah. Ooh, fiends take you. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Sorry, can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children? Sadly, the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecherous? It means that due to our mutations, we have an overdeveloped libido. Libido? When a girl likes a witcher, the witcher says, What will you give me for killing a monster? And she says, Anything you want. So the witcher says, He he he. Then you'll give me something you weren't expecting at all. And that's where little witches come from. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? A man cursed, who's turned into a monster, a witcher might have to kill, even if he's a king. So King Fortest was a monster? What's it like to cut off someone's head? Can you show us how to cut off a head? Can we try your potions? Enough! That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. Shoo there! Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came! Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? Thanks. That was an ordeal. Think I'd rather face a swarm of Neckers than a class of ten-year-olds. The rat catcher had no objections. Oh yeah? How's he feeling? He's dead. Bubonic plague, it seems. I didn't want to upset the children. But you wish to speak of Dandelion? I know you saw Dandelion recently. 
Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. I found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelion's? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Ah, uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. No two ways about it. I need a belt set with silver studs. Just I'll have it for you next week. My grip came right? back from the market when you said ah, What? Exactly. Next week. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I too was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then! We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. 
Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? The Grey Mare looks nimble. Besides, a man named Kai here once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Riders ready! Hey ya! Uh. Don't spare the horse! Uh, come on! <laughs> What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> sick. Sick of it all. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from a hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her? 
Dandelion's sister. I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Stop staring or I shall call the guards. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my brother came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happened in some else. And Greatest for the imagination of a drunk trooper. I need a belt set and never lies about studs. serious I'll have it for you next week. Some story. I'm serious. I'm serious. What do you want? Want to see Rosa Varatra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Look at how garrison will be stationed oh. in the oh, free city of Medivh. Men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new sword play instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Varatra would train with random clods calling themselves sword masters? No. The Varatras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss.
I hope you realise what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Imagining things, didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So, what was it you said? Why are you here? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Oh. You should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Var Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. 
he'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Civilization ends at this camp. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks.
Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said And that... this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes. Just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! Not your lucky day. thing you've really hurt is my pride. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. No loitering round here! Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we'll tempt the world ourselves. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss. Off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas!
Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs, they got what they deserved. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now, and take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. You're back! You met Poppy? She ought to stop talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? 
just something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Here already. Come on, let's find some arts rests. Should start soon.
Twas him murdered some Temerian boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass the floor at once. And lay awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention as he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Here I go again. Rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, the bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Do you seek to get me? 
Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siki Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. And this. Easy, Cleaver. Poor Son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven, whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! We need one alive! 
life. Work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zeracania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aimed to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first! Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh... Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? 
Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around, but be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bug a bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone and especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. From master spy to master criminal, interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself, and thus far, it's been going rather well. Philippa Eilhart, had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. 
far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words in all that tribe. Ah, and you do realise, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Oh, Bart! Not again! Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy look joyful! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky! Bart, less thinky! But sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations, they strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right, ought to look around, but first some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? 
Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes head for Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart through hole. Once see boom, dot what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Your phone gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Into edges curled out. Something inside blew wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Our drain pipes seem to converge here. Pipes great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. No it traces of magic here over here. This was no spell. Must have been one was bomb. a bomb blast. Now, why am I not finding pieces of it? Ah, oh, and I thought Witcher's potions were vile.
Deekstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down close. Otherwise, Lanners will never stop congregating. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests, should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. 
You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. surface. Oil, looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel. Decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. 